welcome back. Okay, so today I had a lot of fun playing in a new palette <laughs> and it's new to me. This is the Unearthly Gargoyle palette. I mean, the color story for this palette, it just got me and I had to use it, had to play with it. So as you can see, I've already created the eye look that I'm going to do for you guys today. But I did do this full face in this video today. So hopefully you wanna hang out for a little while because I did do this whole face. But just to give you some information on this palette from Earth, Unearthly Cosmetics, it's the Gargoyle palette. It retails for $68. And currently as I am talking about it, I believe it's still available. It doesn't say sold out anywhere. So yep, add to cart. So <laughs> if you want it, if you're interested, if you like it, it, it is available right now so on the unearthly cosmetics website so just to let you know what it says on their website about this palette and I'll go ahead and show some swatches while I am reading this just so you can see the swatch. I haven't even opened the palette child now my camera don't be want to stay in focus so I'm gonna stay right here with this palette <laughs> okay show you guys the colors in here oh my gosh absolutely beautiful right so let me just insert some clips so you can see some close-ups of this palette while i let you know what it says it says this palette is your go-to for exploring both dark moody tones and radiant shifting hues the smooth blendable formulas make it easy to achieve any look there are 18 shades in fully magnetic removable pans. So I really love that about their palettes that you can remove them, you can mix and match, make your own palettes and things like that. I have quite a few unearthly cosmetics palettes. If you want me to try them out, just let me know down in the uh, comment section. I don't have all of them, but I have quite a few to play with if you want to see how they perform. But spoiler alert, I will say that I really, really enjoyed using this palette. I did not experience a lot of kick up. It blended very easily, very nicely. And as you can say, see, the shades are nicely pigmented. So, you know, but you, I know you might want to see it in action. So that's what this video is about today, showing you these shades in action from this palette as well as just doing this whole look so let's just go ahead and jump right in okay you guys so although i am super excited to jump into this gargoyle palette from unearthly very excited <laughs> i do want to do my complexion first today so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to do my complexion first um, if you want to skip ahead to just the eye look, you can do so. But I want to start out by using this Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisturizing Cream. Um, my face has been a little bit on the dry side with the change in weather. And so I really like to make sure my skin is nicely moisturized before I apply a bunch of makeup to it take off these earrings and as you can see I definitely have already kind of shaped up my eyebrows I kind of like to do that ahead of time just because sometimes it's tedious and I don't really like to um, spend time doing that on camera so <laughs> If you wonder why I do my eyebrows before I get started, it's just kind of easier for me to jump right in if they're already kind of shaped up. <laughs> and I do need to have them redone. So it takes a little bit more work than normal for me to get them nice and neat. I did have them microbladed, but it's been almost three years ago at this point. So definitely need to get them redone but finding someone locally that you trust mm, can be risky but I'm gonna have to do it because I really miss having them just already done you know before I do my makeup so got that done now what I'm going to do for my usual routine and doing my makeup I usually you know do a little concealing of my hyperpigmentation in dark circles, if you're familiar with me. So I'm going in with this Catrice True Skin 18 Hour Concealer. This stuff works really nice. It is um, 
kind of like the closest to my skin tone. Let me scoot this over a little bit that I have found thus far to where it's like it really does do a great deal to conceal and still be close to my skin tone without me using an actual foundation. So I can really just kind of spot conceal certain areas. But the hyperpigmentation around my mouth, I kind of like go in a little bit heavier because it's crazy. <laughs> but it does help me to use less foundation, that's for sure. Some days I just go in with this concealer and a little bit of um, like foundation powder and that's all it takes. But because I have so much foundation to use, <laughs> trust and believe, I'm going to use my foundation and not just concealer, even though I can. So I think today I'm just going to go in with this smaller, kind of like dense brush, just to kind of blend that concealer in and make things a little bit more even toned on my face before I go in with the foundation. The foundation I'm using today is my Rare Beauty. I, um, don't recall like how I feel about that foundation because I haven't used it a lot, but I'm excited to try it out today. It's been sitting in my drawer. I really need to do a shop my stash, you guys, because <laughs> I lately I've been looking in my drawer and I've been kind of like putting things in, taking things out and just kind of like, I don't want to use this. I don't want to use that. So I haven't really been that, um, kind of excited about just doing complexion you know the complexion part of makeup now the eyeshadow part I'm always excited about the, but the complexion it's like I really need to have products in there that I'm excited about in order to you know get going with it I'm a little bit of a neat freak at times so I kind of I like to like put the products that I've already used in a little <laughs> like container so that it's easier for me to put them away when I'm done or if I don't feel like putting them away at least they're in a nice little container and I can just put that all to the side and the stuff is not all over the place. Now I missed a step already. I hate when I do that. I wanted to use this watermelon burst hydrating uh, primer. It's okay because my skin is moisturized, but I've been trying to use this for the longest and from Ciate London, and for some reason I keep forgetting. So it must be a reason why I'm forgetting because I it's like <laughs> I put it right here in front of my face to use and still didn't use it. But let's go ahead and move on. So I have this Rare Beauty Foundation. It says Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. Oh, okay. So this has SPF 20 sunscreen in it. Um, I'm not sure what shade I have, but I will put it on the screen or it'll be in the description box with the products listed. Also, this should have a pretty light coverage, I guess. So it has like this little squeezy bottle. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze some on my hand. I don't know why I don't really like squeezing stuff directly on my face. I don't know what that's about, but I don't. <laughs> maybe because it can possibly get super messy mm. oh this looks a little glowy I wonder if it's going to stay this way not sure but since I've already um, put down a good amount of concealer it shouldn't take too much foundation for me to feel comfortable today it must be doing something outside because I hear some strange noises oh it's windy that's what it is it's super windy I'm gonna put just a little bit more just a little bit more Yeah, it's extremely windy. That's one of the things that I 
was not aware of when I moved to Vegas, how windy it can get out here. Super windy. Now, when I was living in California in the IE, you know, we had certain times a year when it got really windy. We had the Santa Ana winds that would blow through, but out here, it's like all year round, it can get windy at different times. And I guess maybe it's like we're in some type of valley or something. I don't know, but okay. So it looks like a little bit of a nice glowy type finish. Not too bad. Now I am going to go in with this Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer again. I did try this out when I did my full face of Sephora products video. And I found that it was pretty nice. I actually liked it. So we're going to go ahead and just use this again, you know, and see how we like it with this uh, rare beauty, you know, kind of like moisturizing skin tint or whatever. So, hmm. But yeah, I did. I liked the coverage and I liked the slight bit of brightening, even though I didn't really get to experience the brightening all that much because the powder that I used that I thought was going to <laughs> really brighten up under my eyes ended up being the right shade for me to use all over my face. So that was a fail. But we're going to use a powder today that I believe is lighter. And that is my Danessa Myricks Loose Powder. And I'm pretty sure the shade that I have that in is lighter than my regular foundation powder. So we should be okay today, you guys. Don't know, though. <laughs> I've been wrong before. So who knows? We'll see. Okay, so got that blended in. So the Danessa Pyrex, <laughs> Danessa Myrick's um, powder that I'm using is in Deep Peach. So it's this one here, this loose powder. And I am going to use a brush <laughs> today just because I want to. And this um, dispenser, it has like that netting in there. Very, very fine powder. And this powder, it looks to me, you know, with it being Deep Peach, it does have like that light peachy kind of tone to it, you know? So it's not super light, but it's not as brown as my regular powder. So it's okay for today. I'm not trying to do a super glam look with this gargoyle palette. <laughs> This powder is very nice. It's very fine. I feel like um, for my taste, I do like something just a little bit brighter. Um, like I feel like this Too Faced Peach Powder that I love is a little bit brighter. This one is Translucent Caramelized Peach. So this one I feel like comes off a little bit brighter under my eyes, but it's okay. I'll use that next time. Okay, now to set my face, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever uh, face powder. I don't use this that often. I have the shade Y505, and it comes in this package. So it's like I can add a second product in here if I wanted to, but I just have my face powder in here, and it works out just fine. So I'm just going to set the rest of my face with this powder. And this is a really nice powder from uh, Makeup Forever. I don't buy a lot of their products. This one I've had for quite a while just because I wanted to try it out and see, you know, if I would like it or not. And if you'll notice, I do concentrate um, a little more powder around my mouth with my smile lines and, you know, hyperpigmentation just to kind of help keep my foundation in place a little bit better over in those areas. 
or in that area. But I think that's enough for today. Okay, so bronzer. I'm going in with the Glowish from Huda Beauty. Uh, what do I have? The shade Rich. So I have the shade Rich, which is pretty deep. It has like that swirl design in there, but gorgeous nonetheless. Mm, I don't really have a bronzer brush over here right now, so I'm just going to use this right here. Now, I feel like this bronzer is going to be a little bit darker. Yeah, it's like bronzer borderline contour, to be honest with you, this shade, but it's okay, you know, because it's pretty smooth and it blends out pretty decent, so... It gives me kind of like that bronzer slash contour vibe. And I'm okay with that. Most days I just like a nice warm bronzer, but it's okay. That this one's a little bit darker because I do like the formula, so... So it seems like there's a lot of conversation about those Patrick Ta eyeshadow duos. <laughs> and, you know, it's funny because he almost got me. He almost got me because the, you know, advertisements and the promo for it. I mean, those things look gorgeous. And that low light, oh, they look gorgeous. They look super sparkly. And they just look really, really pretty. Very, very tempted. So he almost got me to where I was like, mm, you know, $42, get a little bit of a discount. You know, it's like 15 You know, if you go with your discount and save a little money, you know, then it takes it down to what, like 30 something. So you're looking at about 15 16 bucks a shadow. And even when you break it down like that, it's like, okay, you know, that's still expensive. For just a little shimmery shadow that really don't have no color and base in it because you know if you buy a lot of indie brand shadows like you know some of the really really super super nice ones they can get around 15 bucks or whatever i'm gonna go in with my juvia's blush and this one is the volume one i think i'm going to use this dark shade up here but it's like you know you know that those indie brand multi-chromes and duo chromes and stuff like that can get pretty pricey but i feel like those indie brand shadows even look better than his so it's kind of like even when they range like nine ten bucks a shadow it's like they look better than what he's offering you know, and I understand the packaging is really nice. You know, it has the gorgeous packaging. And it's even a mirror in that little compact. So I get it, but it's still kind of like, mm, kind of pricey. But it's one of those things where it's like, you know, you as a consumer decide what something is worth. Because I might think a palette is worth 60 70 80 dollars to buy and you might be like girl you crazy you out of your mind and it's not worth that right so we decide what things are worth <laughs> for ourselves and that's why he almost got me because that compact is gorgeous the shades are gorgeous but i think what helped save me is the fact that when i went on the sephora website to purchase it all but the pink shade was sold out and so and I actually was kind of, um, I'm going in with this Milani, what is this, a Soleil bronzer in the shade 05. And I'm using this as my highlight for today, of course. Highlight, because it definitely is not a bronzer for me. <laughs> but <clears throat> what saved me was the fact that, um, you know, I was just like, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not even sure I really want the pink one and I would like to have more options to choose from. 
And you can sign up on the Patrick Ta website, you know, for emails and all that stuff and get like a 15% off, which I did that too, because I was like, hmm, still contemplating it. Because I was like, yeah, 50% off, 15% off is better than nothing, you know, to be able to choose the shades that I actually want. I love this as a highlighter because it's like it just brightens and adds a little bit of glow, but it's not like super crazy, you know. But anyway, so yeah, he almost got me. And then I don't know who I was watching. I was watching somebody and they were really breaking it down as far as I think it might have been Heather. Heather Austin. <clears throat> and she was, you know, just going through all these different shades and shadows and stuff that are close to and typically are a little bit, you know, similar to those eyeshadows. And I was like, mm, you know, even though they weren't all identical and all that stuff, it was still like, okay, it's close enough for me to say no. <laughs> so that's what I did. I said no, and I'm a pass on them. And I'm good. I feel comfortable with it. I don't, you know, I'm not concerned about buying them later. I feel like I'm at the no stage. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Sephora Makeup Setting Spray. I really, really enjoyed using this nice, fine mist um, when I was doing my Sephora video. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and set this. powder in with the Sephora. I really like this. I really do. I didn't know it had the super fine sprayer like a, lo a lot of other sprays that I like. You don't find it too often, but I like it. So, <sighs> okay, we got this base in place. <laughs> now to the fun part, the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to start out with my Fenty Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. I've been using this for pretty much months and months and months now because it has been working with every single eyeshadow that I use. So this is what we're going to stick to. The Gargoyle. Ah. <laughs> uh, this palette is gorgeous. I don't know if my camera is going to focus on it because I think it's trying to focus on my face more so than the palette. But yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm sure that I have already shown swatches and stuff in the beginning of the video, but me actually using it, this is my first, you know, experience with it. So yeah, I'm not sure. What am I going to do? Hold on, hold on. Let me take a second and just figure this out. Okay, so I decided I really want to focus on like the grays and the purples and the blues in here. So yeah, I think I'm going to start out in my crease. I'm going to go gray, purple, blue, probably end up over here somewhere. I don't know. Let's just go for it. But I am going to start out with the gray. I wasn't really sure if I was going to do gray. Or do one of the more, you know, tan type shades. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and have a gray crease today. And since I did do my face first, I know I have more product on my lids than usual. Usually it's just the eyeshadow primer. But today, you know, I have a little bit of concealer, a little bit of foundation on there. So... We'll see what happens, but yeah, it was, it's looking pretty nice. Definitely nicely pigmented and blending out nicely. Okay, I'm going to go into the purple. Got to play with the purple. And I'll be able to see how these shadows layer because I typically go light to dark and then do my blending you know after the fact but you know with some shadows it's better to go dark and then blend it out with the lighter shades but i don't typically do my eyeshadow like that anymore oh that's pretty okay yep she's pretty and she's layering nicely how many of you guys grab this palette 
I don't know how many, um, you know, of my viewers or subscribers are as into indie brands as I am. I would assume you are because... If you like my content, you know, you know, I love any brands. I love all makeup, quite honestly. <laughs> I like the, um, you know, more easily accessible brands just as much as I like indie brands. So, but I really, really love indie brands. Okay, so we're going to go into the bright blue. Okay, so we just did the purple. Now I'm going to go into this blue and make my way over here before we head into the shimmers. I re it's like I really want these different gorgeous shades to be visible in this eye look. So I'm gonna put the blue right here. And it feels like I'm setting this up for a halo eye, but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I love a gorgeous halo eye, that I will say. Me and halo eyes, we go together real bad. <laughs> real bad. But yeah, what are some of the things that maybe you guys have on your holiday wish list? Or maybe some things that you're hoping that some of these indie brands will bring back into stock for the holidays? so that you know you can grab it i know there's certain palettes like that i miss out on that it's like if it comes back oh child i'm grabbing it <laughs> you know but you got to be quick honey because these especially indie brands you know sometimes they sell out and they're like oh it's not coming back so i love when they have stuff that's not like limited edition or you know like hurry up and get it and blah 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 because Sometimes that could be annoying, you know? Like, maybe you, you know, are not able to purchase it right away, but you do want to experience it. Okay, so now I'm going to go into that navy blue and see how that looks next to this super bright cobalt blue. Might not be that big of a difference, quite honestly. I just kind of want to play with as many of these shadows as I possibly can you know I really don't even need to use the black quite honestly but mm, maybe I won't maybe I won't use the black I mean we all know what black looks like right maybe I'll just do these two blues and just kind of blend that you know out with the gray and bring it together with the purple how about that do you guys like, am I the only one that still after years and years of doing my eyeshadow feel like they aren't exactly sure what's the best shape? Because <laughs> sometimes I like to have it straight across and sometimes I like to have it like rounded and, you know, just kind of blurred out in the corner. I don't know. So today we're going to do like a little rounded blurred out in the corner and call it a day. Okay, so these shimmers... Now, I'm going to swatch all these shimmers right now because my whole camera setup just fell down. So I don't know if y'all in the same place or not. But what I was saying was um, you guys will have already seen the swatches in the beginning of the video. But at this stage of me recording, I haven't swatched this palette yet. <laughs> so I'm swatching these shimmers right now just so that I can see um which ones I want to use because I'm only going to use two I think so this is me looking at these swatches um hmm. with this eye look I'm thinking that's super bright minty green is what I need to pop in the center with these dark shades yeah, so we're going to go with this bright minty green right here. The whole camera just failed. Okay, so am I doing glitter glue today? Yes, I better do glitter glue because when I don't, I always regret it. So using a little bit of my e.l.f. glitter primer in the center of my lid. 
just a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Just tapping it there in the center. Just to grip onto this shimmer. This is the shade Eerie Echoes. Ooh, that's pretty. So it's very... Ooh. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Even though I had swatched it, it's like, yo. Child, what? <laughs> I have no words. I mean, barely tapping and it's just like, hello. I'm tapping it like repeatedly just so I can get it in my crease. You know, in my eyelid fold, but ciao. All I had to do was just bloop, bloop. And it's, it's on there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay. Now, let me take the purple um, brush and just kind of soften that edge a little bit. I mean, I love it. With the lashes, this is going to be killer, okay? Now, yeah, this eye look is not for everybody. I'm not even going to front. It's not for everybody. But for me, child, let me put on some earrings and shake this hair out. And this is about, <laughs> about to get wild. <laughs> it's about to get wild. And you know what is so funny? What I absolutely love, though, is, you know... My husband, you know, when he sees this eye look, he's just going to be like, oh, that's tight. <laughs> you know, he because he, it's like he knows my personality and he knows what I like and what fits me. And so it's like, I don't have to be like, oh, my gosh, it's too much. Like, too much for who? OK, so. um, Let me pop on some lashes. I think I'm actually going to do some individual lashes because the strip lashes have been getting on my nerves lately. So I'm about to put on some individual lashes right quick and then I'll be back and we can come and finish this eye look. So I'm back, put on my little individual lashes. As you saw, I put the bond on and just attached the lashes underneath my eyes. No muss, no fuss, no stress. Okay, so I decided I wanted to go in with black eyeliner. So I'm just using this nabby black liner that I got on um, Amazon. I've ordered multi-packs of this black eyeliner. You can use any black eyeliner you have. It's just a pencil eyeliner, but the reason I love these, they're affordable and they're retractable, so I don't have to sharpen them. And they glide on nicely. They don't pull and tug, and they're nicely pigmented, so I really like these a lot from Nabi, N-A-B-I, on Amazon. Okay, so yeah, I felt like the black would look nice. Now, I, I want to smoke out. Oh, and on my lips. <laughs> I know I came back with my lips on. But I used my ColourPop um, lip liner. My favorite shade. Yeah, this is the Ellery. <laughs> the Ellery. I've had these forever. I ordered these when she came out with her ColourPop um, collab. And if you guys are OGs, you know that was years and years and years ago. So I ordered a bunch of these because I knew these were my favorite. Um, they do have some other like burgundy shades that come close, but they're not the same. So when I run out of those, I'm going to be very sad. And then I have on this uh, Hard Candy Lip Slide. These are actual lip oils, but they have color in them. So they're very comfortable, very light, very easy on the lips and a beautiful shine because it is a lip oil, but they have color. So... I actually really, really like those. They have like four different shades, I think. 
So that's what's on my lips. So let's go ahead and finish up this eye look. I think I'm going to smoke it out with some of this gorgeous purple underneath my lash line and then kind of tone it down with one of the tan shades. So let's see. You know, I'm going all in today because this palette has had me in a headlock ever since I saw it. So now that I have it, I really want to just kind of use it to its fullest potential. I'm going to go into this lighter shade right here just to kind of soften it up. You know, I'm really, really big on blend when it comes to eyeshadows. So, you know, you see me spending a little extra time just kind of working the edge of the eyeshadow look. That's why I'm really, really like, I hate when my eyeshadow is not blended on the outskirts. <laughs> The outskirts of the shadow needs to be blended. I hate when it's just kind of like, it just kind of stops, you know, and it's not nicely blended. So just take a little moment and use that lighter shade to just blend those edges and just make it look a little bit nicer, a little bit neater. Okay, now inner corner pop, okay? That is the real question here. I'm thinking this shade maybe, it's not that bright. What about this one? Oh, she bright. Okay, we're going to go with that one. That's the shade Awaken. It's the very first shimmer shade in the palette. I'm going to tap this on. Okay. Sometimes I like to just tap it on my hand a little bit just so I can see how it's going to look, you know, without spraying it. And that's bright enough, honey. Although when you spray it, it kind of helps keep down the fallout, but... I just want just a little bit of a pop, you know, nothing too crazy. Cause honey, that center of my lid is doing the most right now. So I just want something, just a little, a little something just to use another one of these shimmers in this palette. All right, that's good enough. Oh, I hope y'all ain't hear my stomach growling cause it is growling. And a little mascara on the lower lashes. This is my Sephora Big By Definition Mascara. I used this the other day for the first time in my Sephora um, try-on. And I really liked it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep using it for a while. So that's it, you guys. This is the look from this Gargoyle palette. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today to create this look and just playing makeup, have some fun. I really enjoyed using this palette. Definitely going to use it a lot more because I love this color story. I love the cool tones. It's nicely pigmented. It worked out, y'all saw, flawlessly. Not a problem. Um, so yeah, I plan on using this quite a bit more but i hope you guys are having an amazing day thanks so much for hanging out with me to create this look and i'll see you on my next video toodles